Hi, dear traders. Today is August 19th, Wednesday. Here is another fresh market review for InstaForex from me. Today is International Photography Day and the Apple Feast of the Savior and the Orthodox Christianity. The Lord bless you all. Now let's find out if there is anything interesting in the market. As usual, I figure out what's going on according to technical charts. Let's discuss the euro dollar pair. The euro has hit a new one year high as I expected. The price jumped into the New York trade yesterday and broke a new high all right. Looking at a shorter time frame, I see a spike yesterday during the New York session and a deep correction which pushed the euro 50 pips down. The level of around 1.19,150 is very interesting. Frequently, following a breakout, a trading instrument tests the level which is mirrored in the opposite direction. Today, in the European trade, the pair made a fake breakout. It's not good for short positions. Here is the opening of the European trade. I see the price is very close to the lows of yesterday's American trade and today's European trade. If you are a buyer, perhaps you think that the euro is heading upward. In this case, you will set stop loss either here or it will be the mirror-like level of 1.19,150 here. So buyers will hardly have another chance. Either 1.19,150 or the round level of 1.19. Now let's imagine that you have bought euro dollar in this area. The question is how you are going to reckon your risks. The stop order will be placed either below the round level or 15 pips higher. No other option. A higher level is not a good position. 1.19 in the base of the momentum bar from yesterday's American trade. I foresee that buyers would push the price lower, thus enabling a mirror test. Later, I assume two options. Either the price will carry on with the overall bullish trends after a minor drop. Alternatively, buyers will take profit and the price will tumble. I guess you will be confused about these two scenarios. The immediate downwards move is the most probable in the opinion. Why? Because American traders went short in the second half of the sessions yesterday. On the other hand, those who want to buy the euro still have this trading opportunity. This is all happening at extreme highs. Indeed, the euro has never traded higher this year. My idea is that a downward move will follow, so that uh, we will be able to earn. My idea is to benefit from yesterday's spike. If the American trade and open a short deal, we take profit at 1.19. Holding the deal at this level, I would reckon what traders are doing. I would find out whether they buy or fix profit because the market fails first target levels. If the market declines to 1.19, you will have them at the break-even point and allow the pair to go down. Alternatively, if the market goes following the bullish scenario, you will lose nothing with activated stop loss. So there are my suggestions. If you don't want to open any deals, why not monitor what is going on? That's all for today from me. Make sure that you manage your risks.